And Chicago reopening. Fireworks are back at Navy Pier. You can see bursts of color lighting up downtown. The show just wrapped up an hour ago following the longest closure in recent history at Navy Pier. CBS 2's Mercer Power joins us live. Mercer? Tonight's fireworks, the first of the season, were a tribute to healthcare and frontline workers. And for many who watched, they also felt like the kickstart to a new chapter of the pandemic and a slow return to Chicago summer as we knew it before. Navy Pier back with a bang. Between the fireworks, a moving Ferris wheel, and snacks and treats in the hands of hungry visitors. Center of cashews. Give me 475. It's been busy. I had one lady say she said, she couldn't do another day watching TV. She had to get out, and especially with it being 80 degrees out here. The warm weather brought out the crowds, and for the first time in over a year, that didn't make him anxious. Having my second vaccine shot, so I feel a lot more comfortable with the crowds. I would be a little bit more hesitant if I wasn't vaccinated. The light on the horizon is a welcome one after a tough year for business. And this case will be full of apples. This will be the fudge case. And few are more excited than Kilwin's ice cream shop owner, Jackie Johnson. Last year, March of 2020, we was all ready to open up, but unfortunately due to the pandemic, we never got to open. Her Kilwin shops everywhere hit hard by the pandemic. It's all... Her shop on Michigan Avenue hit even harder by looting during the civil unrest. Oh, I took a pretty big hit across the board. Hoping to leave 2020 in the past, Jackson is focusing on this year when Kilwin's Navy Pier finally comes alive. A dream a decade in the making. Yeah, I'm so excited about the fireworks. Really, really counting on Navy Pier to be a to knock it out the park. This really kept me going. You can catch the Navy Pier fireworks yourself every Saturday leading up to Memorial Day. That's also the day Jackson says her dreams of a Navy Pier ice cream shop will finally become reality. Reporting live along the pier, Marissa Para, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.